Welcome back, folks, to more to play the Guild of Dungeoneering. In the last episode, Laurel, our new Ice Monk, is uh, off to a very good start. Let's try and get out while we can, shall we? So, there's a rubber ducky here. What the hell are you doing here, rubber ducky? Oh, it looks like you got their attention. Best get out of here and back to the guild. Okay. Escape the avalanche. Oh, I get it. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. I can't actually move anywhere because of what I've been given. So I'm just going to stay here. Melted ice cream is flowing down the mountain nicely. Indeed it is, apparently. Alright, let's put a mountain goat here. So what we need to do is we need to escape the avalanche. The avalanche is at the top there. So, we could kill that rubber ducky and get it, but, uh, I don't want to risk it, thank you. Right, just gonna use scoop here, deal some damage. I keep meaning to get the warrior spirit upgrade, but I just keep forgetting. Uh, instead just get new items, because items are great. Right, Laraw levels up. Brass knuckles for crush two. Straight jacket for plus one health, or the bark vest. I'm actually gonna take the bark vest here. I know it gives me stupidity one, but we might be alright from that. There it is! The rubber ducky is dead. Long live the rubber ducky. Alright, rune of fate goes here, and then we can put a corridor here. And as for this, let's take on let's take on a gelato cube. Why not? Let's give it a go, Lara! Against a level 3 monster. Luckily, gelato cubes are not that strong. Let's use two scoops to deal three damage. Ha <laughs> ha! Good start. Spider bite. I'm going to deal three more damage. With way of the scoop. Snowball. You're dead! Mr. Gelato Cube! Level 3 monster! You should not be a level 3 monster. You should be level 2, probably. We get Masquerade Mask, which is very good. An Owl Familiar, which gives us wise. A Glyph. Ooh, it's, it's between Masquerade Mask or Owl Familiar. I'm going to take the Owl Familiar. Alright, and now you're going to battle us. That's fine by me. The Mixed Master. Let's go. I still like the way we have Tenacious. Tenacious is always good to have. Right, let's insight the draw card. See if we want it. I might as well take Scoop at this point. You never know when you need that extra one bit of damage. Anyway, two scoops will deal some massive damage to the mix master. Now I'm going to use smite to deal even more damage. I have the health advantage. I can deal a little bit of damage. This guy's going to need to damage me more. You got rid of one of my scoops. Such a shame that I've got another one waiting. Which will defeat you, Mr. Mix Master. And you took my stability card like an idiot. Right, tattered mail. It's okay. Stiletto or the troll femur. Troll is good, don't get me wrong, apart from the stupidity card, but I've got a stupidity card already. I don't want another one. We're taking the stiletto. There is the avalanche. You need to get the hell out of there. Let's take on another gelatinous cube and pop it here. If we win, that's going to be a lot of loot. That's a level 3 and a level 2 bit of loot. Very nice altogether. Snowball to kick things off. I'm simply going to block it with insight. I'm going to block it. Draw a card. There is no scoop at all. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it because I might draw a stupidity card and I can use that. For the moment though, I have just drawn Slice. Which is great. Snowball's next up. I'm going to use Scoop. To deal even more damage to this frail cube. Freeze. Freezes my hand. I'm going to use Restore. To try and keep my health high, at least for the moment, I need to do that. Spider bite, and it doesn't matter because smite will be enough to defeat the gelato cube. Right, what do we got? Snowballs. Don't really want that. A fez, which does give us wise, or a spear. I'm gonna take the fez. Now we can get rid of the owl familiar and replace it with something else, so let's see. We've got a grenade. That's very good. Uh, scroll of souls. I'm gonna take it. I know I now have two stupidity cards, and that's never a good idea. But, it's fine for the moment. 
Alright. There is a corridor. We, there, are, there are some corridors we can use. Like this. Come on, please be a good fountain. Please be a good fountain. I need a good fountain here. It is a good fountain! Fountain of knowledge! Very nice. Right, let's take on a... Scooper Trooper. Let's pop him here. There we go. So now I'm going to move forward, and then he's going to attack me. Right, come on, Scooper Trooper. Bring it on. Right. Come on, Leroy. You can do this. You have the wise trait. It's all good for you. Right, steal enemy card. Well, you're not stealing Arcane Barrage. You're, ste you're stealing two scoops. That's fine. That's all right. Reload now. I'm going to use Smite. To deal some more damage. I have taken the lead. Freeze. I'm going to use shift to draw a card that isn't frozen. Snowball. I can use insight here to draw a top card in my deck. Now I have the stupidity card so I can use the combo. Selfie. Mm. Fine. I'll use restore. You gain three health. I deal one damage and gain two health. I'm still in the lead. Artisanal attack. There is no scoop at all. I will block everything. And I will discard my stupidity card happily. Icicle. I'm going to use Mind Strike to draw a card. I'm going to keep Cerebrate for when I need it. Rekindle now to get more health. Scoop. Steal enemy card. Okay. I'm going to use Cerebrate. You stole my scoop. I am so, so horrified by that. Oh no. Whatever am I going to do without my one damage card? Oh wait, I have Slice. Right. What do you got now? Scoop again. My scoop, in fact. Give me that back, you bugger. There you go. Alright, before it was cool. Freezes my hand. I'm going to use Restore. All I need to do is do three more damage to Scooper Trooper. I'm going to use Cerebrate, because it's the only one I can use. I'm going to gain three health, draw two cards. I can use Smite here. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to use Smite. There we go. I've got a very card draw specific deck. Which, to be honest, is actually really good. So, um, yeah. I like my card draw deck right now. Victory for the Raw! Haha! <laughs> Climber's Axe. Very good. Padded Vest. Not bad. Stalagmite. Okay, I'm going to take the Climber's Axe here. It's better than the Stiletto, so why not take it? There's the Avalanche. It's getting closer! Ah! Stop it! Get moving! Leroy, you can do this! You are really taking a long time there. Run, Ice Cream Monk, run! I know, I'm getting there as quick as I can. I now have my fountain. I mean, look, I'm way ahead of the Avalanche. All I need to do is beat this Monk Defender with two Fates and one Fountain and all my cards and my Wise Trait and I win. Look at all those cards. I got a fountain of, uh, what was it, fountain of uh, knowledge as well, so my starting hand is even bigger. I'm going to kick off with dice. So now I deal three damage. Thank you. Before it was cool. I can't block that. I can with there is no scoop at all, but I do lose a card. So I'm going to lose scoop. What do you got now? Scoop again. Okay. You want to steal an enemy card. Okay, I'm going to draw a card. You took Rekindle. That's not the worst thing you could have done. Head blow now. To, for me to discard a card. I'm going to use Arcane Barrage. No, not Cerebrate! You git! Oh, you're going to get, you're going to die for that one. Here's a block. Parry now. Okay, I'm going to use Mind Strike. This is Dicey. We're both, he's actually in the lead. He's actually leading. Let's use Insight to block and draw. Yes, definitely going to want Holy Seal. That swipe, that's a lot of damage. I'm going to use Frozen Yoga here. To try and save myself. Just a little. Stagger. I can't block it. I can't block Stagger. I should have used Cerebrate earlier. I really should have used Cerebrate earlier. The Raw is on death's door. Restore will save me. As will Holy Seal. Hmm. 
No, if successful, that won't save me. Holy Seal will. Snowball. I can block it with Smite. This is damn close. Very close so far. Freeze. I can once again survive it. Let's draw two cards and maybe I'll get Cerebrate. I get Focus, which won't save me. I get Interrupt, which will save me. Ha <laughs> ha! Right. One to two. I am so close to death. So close to death. I'm going to use Restore. Right, I'm still in it. Two to two now. And in fact, I win. Your strike does one damage. This does two. Lerore wins in a very close battle with the Monk Defender. And I might as well sell the Climber's Axe for two gold. Because we are about to leave this place. See ya. We're out of here. Victory for Lerore! I'm unsure if you understand. This used to be a peaceful land. Since your guild come along, everything has gone wrong. So what we have now is Gullible. One loot choice is of a lower level than normal, plus one to all gold gained from treasure. Not bad, actually. We can gain some extra gold from treasure, which is uh, fairly good, actually. Right. With that out of the way, we have escaped. Ah, oh, you've ruined ice cream. As the heat wave gets hotter each minute, reducing it down to a soft green stream with some twigs. Lovely. Anyway, and so Trice Cream came flowing down the mountain like a big sticky glacier. And it's all mine to collect, package, and distribute. Monks are none too happy. But as the old saying goes, you don't get to the top of the ice cream game without ruffling a few habits and destroying vast amounts of wildlife. I've never heard that before. Okay, so it's quite tastes the same. It's a bit twiggy than I remember, and there's certainly a level of grit that wasn't in the original Trice Cream. Still, it's hot! And what choice do the townsfolk have? And besides, those suckers won't even ever realise what they're missing. For all they know, Trice Cream is supposed to have deer droppings in it. Lovely. With that out of the way, we have completed the Ice Cream Headache DLC, which means we are moving on to the jungle. Snakes on a plane. Why'd it have to be snakes? I hate snakes! Let's go. We are now into technically the second area of the main game. The fact that we've completed the ice cream headaches, but I think that was a nice diversion. Very nice diversion. Right. Defeat three monsters. We also have this, a pirate map. Which is very good. Let's get a corridor here and hope it's a good one. It's a bad one! Like a really bad one. Like a really, really bad one. Let's put the pirate map here, shall we? And take on this leggy spider with Frail. Drain your kittens off. Fine, drain some of my health. I'm about to deal four damage to your face. Which is half your health. Spider bite. I'm going to block one of it with insight. And draw a card. So folks, welcome to the jungle. Um, uh, every, every enemy is like tougher and stuff. They're slightly tougher. Now we have leggy spiders and venomous snakes. And that'll be three damage. So if I use rekindle, I will live and win. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Victory for Lerore. We get a newspaper hat, which we don't want. Wooden board, which is okay. Or a dead lizard charm. I'm actually going to take the newspaper hat here. The hand size is nice. Also, we get the pirate's map. And the snake's going to start wandering to me. Poisonous snake. It's a wandering creature. We also have decay, which really does suck. Decay. Uh, taking two, uh, plus two damage in one turn causes one extra damage. Let's use insight to make sure that doesn't happen. Shall we? Draw a card and it's frozen yoga, which I'm definitely going to keep. Restore. Okay, I'm just going to deal some damage with two scoops. Two scoops. Damage. Alright. It's a claw. I'm going to take this time to use Rekindle to get some health. Mitigate the damage completely. Venomous Bite. This is going to hurt. 
This is gonna hurt. Oh, decay. Yeah, okay, so it's two or more damage. Gotcha, okay. That's not going to work at all. Sorry, mate. Draw a card. Two scoops. Definitely want to keep that one. All right, so if I take two damage, I'm dead. That's a one damage card. That's fine. I will use two scoops to deal some damage. Right. Again, not a two damage card, which means Laroar has won even with the Decay Trait. And Decay Trait's bloody horrible. Right, of course it is very good. Thermals is even better. In fact, I'm going to take the Thermals. We need to defeat one more monster. How dare you, interloper. Oh, God, it looks like a Medusa. Oh, joy. All right, let's take on this poisonous snake. We have more health than it. We have a stupidity card, which does suck, but I will. But we don't have decay anymore, which means we can now start dealing massive amounts of damage. Restore? I don't think so. Sorry. Right. Fire Blast. We definitely want that. Fire Blast is always a good staple to have. Neurotoxin. I'm going to use Fire Blast here, and you are going to make me discard the Restore card. That's not the worst thing you could have made me discard, so I'm going to use Rekindle to get some health back. Right, it's uh, six to three. Spider Bite, and I win with two scoops. Smack him in the face with three damage. And with that, we have to feed three monsters and win! I'm unsure if you understand. This used to be a piece of land. Since your gear has come along, everything has gone wrong. And I dread to know now what you've planned. So with that, plus we had a pirate map. Uh, the pirate map, I believe you could unlock um, by uh, doing any of the jungle areas. This better not be dance lessons, indeed. But it unlocks a new area, Skull Cavern. And with that, we have unlocked the Pirate's Cove DLC. So now we can do the Pirate's Cove DLC, but I think I'll do it after the dungeon, or after the jungle missions. But yeah. The Captain Rosalita, you wouldn't want to meet her. But there's treasure to be found. Adventures abound. And you might even meet the Grim Reaper. Yes, another bard. We have found a pathway through the legendary cave. There's a whole series of caves and caverns running around, uh, running out beyond the jungles, full of loot and booty. Booty? With there being talk of the great pirate ship, the Eversail, moored in the cave, we could really make this discovery worthwhile. The absolute, it's absolutely buzzing with dangerous pirate types and teeming with nasty sea life. Not to mention the infamous Captain Rosalita and her crew. Hopefully, is hopefully it's nothing that can be handled that can't be handled by a dungeoneer or two or twenty. They might even pick up a few new tips and tricks along he way back to, <laughs> along he way to bring back to the guild. Is that a typo or is that pirate speak? Along he way. It sounds like pirate speak. I'll get away with it. I'll think they'll get away with it. Also, sorry, Nathan, for talking like a pirate. Also, knob off. Um, so it seems my path to further riches involves sailors and crabs. Just like another job I once had. Indeed, but with that, we have unlocked the Pirate's Cove missions. But for the moment, I believe we're going to be keeping with the jungle. Because pretty much what I was going to do is I was going to do, uh, uh, grasslands, ice cream headaches, Jungle, Pirate's Cove, and then the last one. Just so, pretty much for the, uh, the, the, uh, these missions here, the actual in-game missions, not the DLC, um, I can get money to get more Dungeoneers and more loot and things like that to help out with the actual missions. So, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to be keeping with the jungle, and then after that, we'll do Pirate's Cove. So, guys, I'm going to have a break here, but in the next episode of Let's Play the Guild of Dungeoneering, we'll carry on through the jungle area. Stony Stair, defeat Medusa before you get turned to stone. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'll see you then.